Good evening. One student is no, no longer associated with Texas A&M after being interviewed about racial slurs on campus. That news comes from A&M President Michael Young after an investigation where a group of high school students visiting campus were targets of racial slurs. In our top story tonight, KX HD News reporter Alexandra Bush shows us how the students are reacting to the investigation results. Integrity. It's one of Texas A&M's core values that was broken nearly one month ago. I think the person needs to be aware of the things they do have consequences, especially when it comes to putting other people down because that's, I mean, that's not an Aggie value, so they should not be part of the Aggie family anymore. Texas A&M President Michael Young released results of the investigation into the incident today, which includes parting ways with one of the students involved. Texas Senator Royce West from Dallas has been keeping up with the investigation. The students that were targeted are also from the Dallas area. West is satisfied with A&M's decision. I think that the university, by making certain that student is no longer there, is kind of setting the tone for what will happen if individuals are engaged in that type of behavior in the future. I think it was the best thing to show that the university is taking the right actions in the course of the matter. President Young also focused on making A&M a more diverse and inclusive campus. Today, the Faculty Senate held a forum to discuss how to handle incidents on campus and talk about how to make required international and cultural diversity classes more applicable and purposeful. Um, I think the university is taking positive steps to, to enact change. Um, but I would honestly like to see a, a lot more. One of the things that they could do was actively hire. In the email, they didn't mention at all hiring more faculty of color, accepting more applicants of color. Whether or not the university's actions will have lasting effects is yet to be determined. In College Station, Alexandra Bush, KX HD News. President Young also said the investigation was given to the Brazos County District Attorney's Office, but they declined to take action on the case. You can view Young's full statement on our website, kxtv.com, as well as join the conversation on our Facebook page. Just search KAGS TV.